Hello everybody, Silas back again today on this absolutely beautiful spring day. I was out working this morning and I got a few things done, made a video this morning of messing with some old trucks, but then I was like, you know what, it is just too nice to work the rest of this day. I have got to go out and go exploring. It's been a little while since I've actually just gone out in the woods and had a nature adventure. I haven't gone out in nature and done stuff like this in quite a while. I'm trying to remember the last time. It was probably last spring. Last summer and fall I was just so busy I never really had time to go out and do this type of stuff. So I had an opportunity today and so I jumped on it. I took it. I am out here now. Now I'm just going to say this at the beginning of the video. If you're one of the type of people that will not watch anything other than car related stuff and that's the only reason and you don't care about anything else I do then I guess go ahead and turn this off because there will be no car stuff in this one. No hard feelings. The next video will probably be car related so you can come back then. But if you want a nice relaxing video with some cinematic footage maybe and some nature sounds and just some mushroom hunting probably I think that's the main thing I'm gonna do today is look for some mushrooms that type of stuff then stick around I'm already way back in the woods on one of my favorite hunting grounds now it is too early in the season to look for morels it's only March what is today March 20 uh, March 26th is what today is and so it's way too early for morels they won't be up. I mean, there will be a few stragglers popping up here and within the next week or so, but they aren't going to be anything worth picking for at least two to three weeks. And then after that, for the next one to two weeks after that is the prime season. What I'm out here looking for today is called oyster mushrooms. And I forget the scientific name, but they call them that because they kind of look like oysters. So that's what I'm out here looking for now. And they like to grow on dead trees. So I'm looking at some of these dead or half dead trees to see if they're growing on any of those trees like this and sometimes they'll kind of grow up high i've seen them way up in the air before growing on a tree obviously i couldn't get those but this one here is dead but i don't see anything growing on it i have found them in this area before but that was who i want to say four years ago yeah about four years ago and i have not found any here since so this area may not grow them anymore stuff like this i have found a lot of oysters on things like this don't see any on this one again, but I'm going to look around for a while. If I see anything, I'll show it to you guys. If I see any animals, I'll show those to you guys. You just never know what you're going to see out here. There we go. It's starting to come back to life. Whenever you see these start growing, about a week later, the red buds start blooming. And then about one to two weeks after that, it's game on for mushroom season for morels. I'm not really finding any oysters, though. Oh man, it got me good. From a distance, that looked like a set of oysters. Uh, bummer. Well, I guess we'll keep looking. There's a lot of birds out. Robins and cardinals and finches and sparrows. All sorts of birds. This isn't really a bird watching camera though, so I couldn't get those. You remember I was saying I found some oysters in a tree I couldn't reach one time. Well, this was the tree. I couldn't get all those. I just dried up remnants of them now I mean, there's nothing left there but last year they were still on there i just couldn't find a way to get up that high that's about 12 feet in the air one thing's for sure is that major storm that rolled through last december you may remember that on one of my previous vlogs i was out working on that farm cleanup with those 80 to 100 mile an hour winds they did some serious havoc back here this area isn't quite as bad but some of the areas i walked through are just total destruction with trees blown over everywhere this kind of has me a little bit worried Normally there's a little stream that kind of flows through this area, just a real, real shallow stream, I mean, maybe six inches deep at the deepest. And if there's a lot of rain, it'll get a little bit deeper, but it's never more than a foot deep. And there is nothing, it is bone dry. And we just had all that rain and that snow and it's still bone dry, so that means it was really dry before that. And I'm thinking because it was such a dry winter, we only got a tiny bit of snow the whole rest of the winter. So the last month is the only month we've had moisture. So it may not be a very good year for mushrooms. I'm not really having any luck finding those oysters, and I think it is just because it's so dry out. So I'm going to stop hunting, and I'm going to do some cinematic footage for y'all. I'll just take some shots through the trees, maybe some shots of walking around. I'll put some music to it maybe. I don't know, maybe some nature sounds, whatever. If the birds will start chirping again, I'll just use those. I don't really care, but we'll see how it works out. Never mind. We just hit the jackpot. Maybe. They kind of look old from here, so they're probably not edible. They're probably from last fall. I should have came out then and looked, but I found some. I know they are. I can tell they are. Let's go check them out.
Yep, these are definitely from last fall because I checked this tree last spring and there was none on it. These are pretty grody. Yeah, they're, they're all dried up and hard. Normally, you can kind of see down in there that white color. They're white like that all over, kind of like the same color as an oyster. These here have been here a long time. And this is a shame too because this tree is covered in them all the way down. Man, I almost came out here last fall and I didn't do it. And now I'm really, really kicking myself. Man, that would sure be nice if they were growing good and fresh. That'd be a good meal right there. That just absolutely breaks my heart. Oh, well, I want to check these other dead trees in this area and maybe, just maybe, if we're really, 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 really lucky, we'll find some fresh ones. I have done that before. I found some dried up ones and then found some fresh ones right after that. So I'm crossing my fingers and I'm sure hoping. This is just crazy to me. I mean, this water used to be so deep in spots like this hole right here that you couldn't step in it without getting your pants wet, even with waterproof boots on, and without getting your leg wet. It's just, just blowing my mind how dry it is. And it's just like dry sand. That's just, I've never seen that before. It makes me wonder if something happened upstream. And I absolutely cannot believe how many oysters I found. I probably found more oysters today than the last four or five years combined. Unfortunately, none of the ones that I found today are edible. <laughs> so, oh well. You win some and you lose some. I forgot to address the elephant in the room. Yes, I do wear glasses. I don't wear glasses at work because when I wear them at work, they fall off my face, I get sweaty, uh, they get in my way, they get scratched, they get dirty, they get broken, on and on and on. So. That's why I don't wear them at work. But when I'm out here, I need to be able to spot mushrooms from a long distance, so I have to wear glasses in order to be able to see them. And there's the first tick of the year. I felt them crawling on my neck. They don't usually bite me. I don't think they like my blood. I better turn the camera off and grab him before he goes up my sleeve. Striking out again. There's mushrooms called gyromitra that always grow in this area right here. A couple years ago, man, there was probably, I'd say probably at least 20 pounds of them grew in this area. Gyromitra caroliniana, I believe is how you say it. And then last year about this time, there was a whole bunch of small ones. 
and then those all grew into bigger ones not quite as many as the year before but still quite a few but i don't see anything this year and this area is normally really muddy and soggy and once again it is bone bone dirt blowing dust dry so i'm not sure what's going to happen this year it may not be a very good year for mushrooms i'm starting to get really really worried now you guys see that snake Not a very big one. Slithering away. Soaking up some sun. I find snakes every year. If it wasn't holding my camera, I would have tried to catch them. Another snake. Right there. Hey, buddy. Are you swelling up big? You don't like me being here. Yeah, you're sticking that old tongue out. Trying to figure me out. There you go. I don't know what these snakes are. If you know what the snake is, let me know in the comments. I have no clue. He's a pretty one though, or she. Whatever it is. You're not very shy like the other one was. I guess I'll let you get back to it though. I'm going to keep on marching through here. You know where the mushrooms are? What are you doing? Burying yourself in the dirt? Oh, there you go. Down in your hole. There must be a hole right there. <laughs> yep, sure enough. There's a hole in the ground, so... Oh, uh, back to the hunt. Well, that's a good sign. There's at least a little bit of water in this one. Although this one here is usually, you know, about a, a foot and a half to two foot deep. Some spots are even deeper than that. But at least there's some water out here. That's a somewhat good sign at least. Looks like somebody's sleeping bag and blanket or something over there. <laughs> Evidently somebody was camping out back here. That's why you always carry a you-know-what with you when you're out mushroom hunting. You just never know what you're going to come across whether it be a wild animal or a wild person. I'm going to see if I can get over this without getting in the mud. I didn't wear my waterproof boots. I think I can jump over this. It's not very wide. Oh, there we go. Made it. The reason why I'm in this area is last year I found a whole bunch of Verpa uh, Bohemica or Verpa something. Some type of mushroom up in this area, but I'm not even finding those this year. Wow. I have never seen this. I'm flabbergasted. This pond is usually like four feet deep, three to four feet deep, and it is empty. Man, I don't know. Whew. This is kind of discouraging, guys. I don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, normally down there at that end, it's about, I want to say, five feet deep, maybe even six feet deep of water. And it's, it's a little bit slimy in here, so I mean, it's right at the water table, but... And there's nothing you can see here where they had something anchored down at some point in time. Little fish habitats. I don't see any fish bones, so the critters must have carried them all off and chowed down. This is unreal, guys. I am just speech. I don't know what to say. This is insane. I have never seen this in my life. This is crazy. I never thought I'd be able to walk at the bottom of a pond. Whew, I didn't realize it was that dry out this year. There's a tiny bit of water down here still, but that's it. Man. Insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, you can tell this must have been the last little area that held water because of all these snail shells down here. Poor guys didn't stand a chance. Unreal. Well, I was going to come down here and go fishing with the kids, but <laughs> not now. I don't know how many thousands of gallons of water are normally in this thing. This is a big pond usually. Crazy. Well, I think I'm done out here. I'm going to head back. It was definitely an interesting day. I found some stuff I was not expecting to find like those ponds. That's for sure. Like I said at the beginning, I know this one was a little bit different than what I usually do. I know this wasn't anything related to cars, but I just wanted to get out here and have an adventure while I had a chance. So now, that's the thing is whenever you do have a chance to get out and have an actual adventure, if you like hiking, do that. Or if, if you like doing something in the city, go do that. Just find an adventure every now and then. Get away from the routine and do something different. If you always do the same thing, what's that saying? All work and no play makes me a dull boy. I think that's how it goes. Something like that. So if you're always just doing the same old thing and you're just constantly slugging away, even if it's not actually a job, if you're just slugging away, it becomes a job, really. Just, just living life can become a job sometimes. So you get out there and you find your adventure, you know? Like I always say at the end of my videos. 
And with that, I'm going to let y'all go. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there and find an adventure, even if it's nothing exciting happens. We'll see you next time.